Hey guys, it's Sarah here with day two of the Festival of Books recap, blog, vlog, post. Yeah, I don't know what I'm talking about. Yes, it is day two of my recap for the Festival of Books. Um, if you're just kind of like tuning in, um, there will be a link down in the little magic area down there for day one where I met um, John Green, Rainbow Ruel, and Lauren Oliver. Um, Sunday of the Los Angeles Times Festival of Book was a little more hectic, a little more drama, but like a ton of fun. So yeah, let's get started on the awesome day that we had. Hey guys, it's day number two. I want to say hi! Yay! Yo! Okay, so it's day number two and you can probably tell because I look really tired and I am really tired. But we're heading to the fest right now. I'll walk backwards. Whee! I can't do that, I'm gonna fall. <laughs> and we have lots of people to see today, like Veronica Ross and Riss Meyer and shit like, shit like that. I said shit in a video. I just said it again, whatever. And yeah, so it's gonna be a fun day and I'm really tired and I don't wanna walk anymore and it's only just started. Yeah, we're gonna go get in line for peeps right now and we'll film later. So at the end of day one, we kind of went home and me, Sylvia, and Cassandra were all spending the night at Sylvia's house and um, we got Alexandra on the um, like webcam thing, I don't know, Google Hangout or something. And we're like, alright guys, we have so many authors that we want to see on Sunday, we need to make a game plan. You know, we had Riss Meyer and um, Sarah J Moss and Anne Brashares and Veronica Roth and Deb Cluddy and Stephanie Perkins and Lauren Miracle and we wanted to get Andrew Smith in there somehow and it was it was gonna be like crazy so we like got down and we like had a game plan and we were like gonna go here and then someone was gonna go here and this the start of the day we figured you know Veronica Roth's line is gonna be like nuts because the day before John Green's line was in insane it was like a three hour wait it's I was crazy. It wasn't for us, but for other people it was. And we just didn't want to get stuck with that. So we had a plan that Sylvia would go get in line for Marissa my you know, for hmm, Veronica Roth. And then um, Alex, Cassandra, and I would go meet um, Marissa Meyer and Sarah J. Moss, who were both having a signing later where um, Sylvia could go see them. And we were like, yes, we got this plan. It's going to be great. And... That went out the window in like two seconds. <laughs> we go to get in line for the Marissa Meyer and the Sarah J Moss and Sylvia goes to get in line for Veronica Roth and literally like two seconds later it was like poosh, plan obliterated. Um, apparently because of the nonsense that was um, John Green signing the day before they decided that the only way that you could do the Veronica Roth signing is if you had a ticket to the Veronica Roth panel. Well, we didn't have tickets to any panel because we were press. We didn't need tickets. We just flashed our little badge, which is around here somewhere. And you got into a panel. So I was like, well, we don't have tickets. Well, what about press? And they were like, you need to have a ticket because then you were like, with your ticket, you were going to get like a signing ticket. And so we were like, what? Like, no. I was like, no, no. Like, I need... I know I'm spoiled. I've met her twice before. But I'm like, I need my leech inside. Like, I need my whole thing sign and this is all like we're, we're panicking we're like oh my god we don't have tickets like what are we gonna do like this is crazy like we gotta get our hands on some tickets and we um like while well, this is going on while well, me and Cassandra and my sister and Alex are all in line for um Marissa Meyer and Sarah J Moss and we're just kind of like like what do we do like why do we do Basically, we were like, we need to get our hands on some tickets. Like, I don't know how we're going to do it. We're in line for Marissa Meyer and Sarah J. Moss right now. Like, I don't, like, know what we're going to do. Like, this crazy face. And there were people in line that were, like, trying to help us out. I mean, there was five of us, you know, um, Sylvia, me, Alex, Cassandra, and my sister Jess. And we're just like, what do we do? Like, blah. Um, and like I said, I'm, I mean, Sylvia's over by the Veronica Roth stuff trying to figure it out. We're in line for these other people and, like, trying to figure it out. And we're like, we don't, like, know how this is going to happen. Like, I I don't know. And <laughs> we finally get up to meet Marissa Meyer, who, like, 
it was so incredibly sweet. My phone's like going off the whole time. And, um, but I was like, I, I'm finally up to the beginning of the line. So I'm just going to talk to Marissa Meyer. But, um, she was really incredibly sweet. And she was asking me about my shirt. Cause I was wearing my, you know, um, blog shirt all weekend. And I told her it was for my blog. And she asked me how long I was doing it. And I said almost two years. And she was like, it like blows me away. Like how much work you guys do. Like I love it. She's like, it's just like amazing that you guys just sit there and you don't get paid for this and you just you're so dedicated and I, I don't know I like when authors kind of like know that because we put in a lot of work and I love doing it but it's I don't get paid for this you know I do it because it's fun so you know that was really cool and she signed all my books which I'll just kind of show you and there's Cinder and could have probably picked a better way to do this like quicker but Cinder I'm just going to create a pile of books over here because I got a lot of books. A lot of books on Sunday. That is not... I was planning on doing this a lot quicker than it seems to be going. There is Scarlet. And then... Hold on, guys. There's Chris. Very, 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 very awesome. That just means though when like winter comes out that like I'm gonna need to like track her down somehow because I can have like not a complete series because I'm spoiled that way. But um, I did get an extra copy of Cinder which I'm not gonna show you guys because you're gonna have to be patient and it is signed by her and that will be part of my big blog birthday giveaway next month in May. So don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to subscribe to the actual blog because you will not regret it. Um, and then we also met Sarah J. Moss who I had met before. I met in August when she had her um crown of midnight launch party so i had met her before um so i have thrown a glass in crown of midnight but she just put out um the assassin's blade which is um basically the collections of novellas that she had already um had as ebooks so i definitely got my hands on that book and i was like i need to get it signed because she's awesome and i love it because she remembered me from last time and she was like oh my god you're the sarah without the age like you spell it wrong we're just messing around she's oh she's so funny so in my book she was like sarah thank you for all the name related abuse love sarah and she emphasized the h in her name because hers has an h and then she signed it but I had to keep the post-it because when she saw the post-it with my name on it she like wrote the H on there and I thought that was really funny so I kept it because she's just she's awesome she was in a panel later that day with um some cool people which I'll talk about but she's awesome and so that was great and as soon as we were done with that I got text message from Sylvia that was like I got you all tickets get over here they're like not gonna make me like they're not letting me like go inside for Veronica Ross panel, like, until you get here so I can give you your ticket. So we're like, ah, so we just, like, was sprinting, like, off, you know, and we went to go get our tickets, so we got into the panel, and we got our signing tickets, so we were like, we're gonna be okay. <laughs> we got this. All right, guys, we just met, what did we meet? We met Sarah J. Moss. Sarah J. Moss yeah. and Marissa Meyer, and so we had a game plan for today, and it went out the window in probably about, like, three seconds flat, because it turns out you need a ticket to meet Veronica Ross, and we didn't have tickets, because we have press badges, so that was not good. Um, but we have tickets now, and we're in the panel right now, we're waiting for her to show up, and it's going to be really exciting, because I actually, I mean, I wasn't going to go to the panel, but now I'm excited to go to the panel. And, yeah, I'm going to try and live tweet it, but you're going to see this after I live tweet, so that doesn't matter. Okay, we're going to go see Veronica Roth now. Okay, bye. Okay, can I just say that that was one of the best panels I've been to um I like remember all the really really good ones that I go to and there was one like my favorite's always been this one um at the Ontario Tune Book Fest which is like not important but whatever um but this one was just it was so good um it was just Veronica Roth um but it was um her like moderator who she was like in conversation with was Lee Bardugo who I like absolutely adore she's such an amazing author like her books just are like blow my mind and she's like my friend and stuff I mean I guess I kind of call her my friend I don't know if she's my friend but she knows who I am whatever moving on but it was really funny because Lee's got a really great sense of humor and I love Veronica she's really sweet and awkward but like together they just they were super funny and it was it was awesome I wish I would show you I, I should have filmed it but it would have been really long because it was an hour and that would just be too long but <clears throat> if you go on my Twitter 
and you look at April 13th, you know, 2014, I tweeted a lot of stuff from their conversation, and it was awesome, and they were hilarious, and yeah, and after it was over, we went to go meet Veronica. Hey guys, um, I just got out of the Veronica Roth panel, and it was with Lee Bardugo, and it was awesome, and it was really funny, and people looked at me really meanly because I was laughing too hard, but I don't care, because... Enjoy life, guys. Um, but we're in line. She's in that tent somewhere, I'm sure. I'm going to meet her for the third time because I'm spoiled like that. I like to zoom in and out. Ooh. I'm going to cut this part out, I swear. And um, yeah, it's really exciting. I've got my, hold on, Allegiant. And I'm ready to go. And it's going to be super fun. And yeah, let's do this. <laughs> Yay! I've met Veronica Roth twice before this, and this was my third time, and so I was, like, not really nervous or anything, or, and, you know, she's, like, the same age as me, which is both, like, super inspiring and intimidating, but also kind of, like, I don't know, humbling, too, because I just, I don't know, it's like, you and I could have gone to high school together, or I don't know, that sounds so silly, but she's really sweet, and she's really awesome, and, um... We talked about my tattoo and how I saw her at the premiere and that kind of thing. And she signed my allegiant for me, which I was really excited for because now I have my entire trilogy signed. And they were giving away, and I wonder if I have it so I can show you. But they were giving away, yes, I do have it. Little um, excerpts from, I think it's the transfer part of the, you know, the new four book that's going to come out. Um, there's a book with four and it's a couple short stories and you know from like his point of view and stuff and it comes out in July and they gave us a little like excerpt thing for it which is really cool but it's signed by her too and they gave them to I, I think everybody got them I'm really not sure but I mean that's a lot of things to sign because it is her signature I mean you can tell if you look oh it's all like smudgy and stuff so it's it's like obviously real which is like really really cool so we got that and then she also signed my allegiant. So yeah, now I have a full, um, a full Divergent collection signed. Um, I was gonna get a giveaway book because um, I know how much you guys love Divergent. You guys showed me that last month, but they only let us have do one book, and I love you guys. But I had to get my allegiant signed. Um, after that, the day just kind of got crazy, and I stopped vlogging because I was just so busy. Um, we went to meet Laura Miracle, who wrote all kinds of books, but I got my Infinite Moment of Us signed by her, which I can't find. I know I have because I have pictures of, like, the signed book, but I, I don't know where the book went. Oh, really? Sorry, my dad interrupted me, and I know I could just, like, edit that kind of stuff out, but I'm kind of lazy, and I just kind of like my vlogs to be kind of, like messy and awkward because I'm messy and awkward so I change that I'm not gonna like make these pretty blogs vlogs god vlogs and like make it seem like that's the way I do things because I don't anyway so we we're talking about Lauren Miracle and she was really sweet and awesome and there'll be a bunch of pictures at the end of the vlog so you can see but um I don't know where I do with my infinite moment of us I know I have it somewhere because like I said I took a picture of it and whatever but I did get let it snow signed and I'm really bummed because it's you know let it snow it's like kind of like a compilation Christmas novel that was written by Maureen Johnson Lauren Miracle and John Green and I was gonna get it signed by John Green and Lauren Miracle so I could have the whole book signed by all of them because I got it signed by Maureen Johnson last year but like they were only let us, letting us get one book signed by John Green yesterday or well Saturday and so I had pick and choose, and I picked a bunch of captains, it's my favorite. But I do now have two out of the three. So that's um, Rain Johnson's from last year, and now I have Lauren Miracles this year. I'm determined that I will get all four on there. I don't know how it's going to work, but we're going to make it happen. So yeah, then we did that. Um, Who did we see next? Oh, we saw... What did we do? Like, I'm, like, blinking out. Okay, we saw the panel. We saw a panel. But, duh. I, like I said, I don't normally do panels, but, um, it kind of worked out that we could. There was, um, the YA area, and there's a YA stage. You didn't have to actually go into the panel. Um, it was just kind of, like, chairs set up in front of a stage. You could, like, hang out on the grass and stuff. And after Veronica Roth, literally everything we had to do was in that area, so we just kind of stayed in that area. And, um... Sylvia still had to get Marissa Meyer and Sarah J Moss because she didn't get it earlier because she was handing all the Veronica Roth drama. 
So I stayed to watch the panel, and the panel was um, C uh, Cecile Castellucci, um, Marissa Meyer, Lee Bardugo, and Sarah J. Moss, and it was moderated by my Andrew Smith, and I can't believe I just said mine. I hope he never watches this because it's really awkward. But you guys know how I love Andrew Smith. But yeah, it was a great, I mean, it was an amazing panel. It was funny and fresh and, I mean, just amazing things going on the whole time with it. I loved that panel. Um, Andrew Smith was hilarious and a fantastic moderator. And I, it, was, it was awesome. And I'm glad I went to that panel because it was just, it was fun. And then um after that i stayed a little bit for a panel with emery lord joanna philbin and stephanie perkins who was someone i did want to meet and that was also really fun because they all write contemporary like romance ya which when i'm not writing my current novel which is a sci-fi that's usually what i write so that was really awesome they were all really sweet i really want to steal stephanie perkins dress just saying she's like fabulous and has great sense of like style Guys, I just, like, I'm a jeans and t-shirt girl. So that was really awesome, too. And after that panel was over, um, I was going to meet Stephanie Perkins by one person before that to meet. And that was Deb Coletti, who writes Contemporary YA. And I have been reading her for so many years. And I, I can't even remember, like, how long I've been reading her. I've just been reading her for so long. And I was really upset because I have her new book which just came out like a week ago or something. And I have her adult book, which came out like I think last year. And I have all of her other books. And I like couldn't find them anywhere. I have so many books, guys. Like they're just everywhere. I don't have bookshelves. I don't have room for bookshelves. So they're just everywhere. And I couldn't find them. I was like freaking out. I was like, I need my favorite book signed by her. Like how is this happening right now? And I was like upset. And I just like couldn't. I was, it was awful. So I ended up going to the book fest and buying two more of her books which are my favorites because I was like I, I need them signed and I went to go meet her and she was like Sarah hi like totally recognized me from Twitter she was like I've been looking for you I'm so excited to meet you it was amazing it was really really awesome and she was like oh my god did you find my book I'm like oh my god she noticed that I was like looking around for her books it's kind of embarrassing but kind of cool at the same time because she like knows who I am but yeah she was really awesome she signed my books and we talked and um took pictures together and she was like you're so adorable like I'm so glad I got to meet you finally and I was I was like in like fangirl heaven like I said I've been reading her for just like years so it was really really great to meet her and I got four books signed by her um I have the hiccups guys it's really awkward um there we go. Um, yeah, I've got The Secret Life of Prince Charming and The Nature of Jade signed by her. Um, these are my two favorites by her, the ones that I had to re, um, rebuy. I really like this one a lot. Secret Life of Prince Charming is, like, my favorite one. I like this because it was, like, and to new friends. My fangirl feels can't handle. It was so sweet meeting her. Like I said, I was just, like, blown away. And then I got her, a, oh, I can do this, her adult book. He's gone signed. So that was really great, too. And I also got The Last Forever signed for her, too, which is, like, her brand new book. It just came out, like, like I said, a week or two ago. Actually, it's probably, like, two weeks now. I just read it. It's awesome. You should read it. But, see? I died. I died. You'll see pictures later, because I do pictures at the end of the vlog. So yeah, after that, we, I went to go meet Stephanie Perkins, who I was so excited to meet because it took me a really long time to read Anna and the French Kiss because I thought that was a kind of a dumb title. I'm sorry, Stephanie, but I judge books by their title and by their covers. And I like the new covers for her books a lot better than the old covers. Um, I'm not a fan of the old covers. So yeah, we went over to go meet Stephanie Perkins. Stephanie Perkins was the last person of the day and... I totally forgot to say that I totally got a new book by Andrew Smith earlier what, after the whole Lee Bardugo, that panel, and I got him to sign his book, Ghost Medicine, which I haven't read yet, and I totally forgot to say that, but I did. And Andrew's always great, and I always get kind of a kick out of the fact that he knows me, and he, like, waves to me and stuff. Like, I was waiting in line to meet Lauren uh, Miracle, and they were getting ready for, the like, that panel, and he, like, came around the corner, and he was like, Hi, Sarah. And I was just like, Hi. 
fangirling. Anyway, Stephanie Perkins, yeah, she's the last thing of the day, and I got my Anna and the French Kiss and Lil and the Boy Next Door signed, and I love those books so much. And I also got an extra copy of Anna the French Kiss sign, which again will be part of the ginormous blog birthday giveaway next month. Yes. But yeah, she's awesome. Um, got pictures with her too, and um, yeah, so that was kind of the last person of the day, and we said we met a lot of people in one day, and it was awesome, and check out my end of the day vlog. Stephanie Perkins was the last person of the day, and I totally forgot to say that I totally got a new book by Andrew Smith earlier, but after the whole Libra do go that panel, and I got him to sign his book Ghost Medicine, which I haven't read yet, and I totally forgot to say that, but I did. And Andrew's always great, and I always get kind of a kick out of the fact that he knows me, and he like waves to me and stuff. Like I was waiting in line to meet Lauren, uh, miracle and they were getting ready for the hit, like that panel and he like came around the corner and he was like hi sarah and i was just like hi fangirling anyway stephanie perkins yeah she's the last thing of the day and i got my anna and the french kiss and lil and the boy next door signed and i love those books so much and i also got an extra copy of anna and the french kiss signed which again will be part of the ginormous blog birthday giveaway next month Yes. But yeah, she's awesome. Um, got pictures with her too. And um, yeah, so that was kind of the last person of the day. And we said we met a lot of people in one day and it was awesome. And check out my end of the day vlog. Guys, I'm like the worst vlogger ever. I keep just like forgetting to say stuff or whatever. Ghost medicine. Signed by Andrew Smith. A little heart. I'm such a lame person, I swear to God. Um, and in the French kiss, I love, oh my god, Stephanie Perkins, so freaking adorable. She crossed out, like, Sarah. Freaking love that. So adorable. And she also did that. I will find it very soon. Sarah's. <laughs> so cute. I can't. I can't get enough of that. It's just like the cutest thing in the entire world. Okay guys, so it's the end of the day and I just met Stephanie Perkins and before that we did Veronica Roth. We did, Deb, I did Deb Coletti, which was incredible and it's been a really crazy day. We kind of just went all the way through and there's gonna be so much more when I record later at home because I'm tired, as you can probably tell, but it's been amazing and such a great time. Um, yeah, I've met everybody I wanted to, I think, I'm pretty sure. I'm not 100% positive, but I'm pretty sure I met everybody I wanted. <laughs> and we've got a huge suitcase full of books, and I look, I'm like a mess right now, and it's awesome. And yeah, I'm gonna go home and vlog all this, and you're gonna get a pretty version. That's what you're watching. Yay! Before I get to like the picture part of the video and all that stuff, um, before I like say goodbye. Da 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 da, goodbye. Da 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 da. Okay, guys, so, um, anyway, <laughs> um, I said we were really tired and the one you just saw was just kind of like hanging out by the YA stage or whatever and I went and like sat down on it and like took a picture with it and stuff and I was just like, I got really cheesy and I was like, it's just so beautiful to be in this atmosphere that's all about books and just like, I don't know, it's just like, it makes me so happy and then I recorded this little bit right here. The best part of the video is that you can like see Cassandra and Alex like sneaking around in the background like while I'm trying to be like super like deep and philosophical and they're just like in the background like, ee! They're ridiculous. So I'm standing in front of the YA stage, which is basically where most of the YA authors for the weekend were signing and... <clears throat> Sorry, I ate a cracker, now I can't talk. Um, but yeah, it's for where most of the authors for the weekend were signing for like the YA, um, Stephanie Perkins, I mean all these kind of authors. But anyway, this is the YA, YA stage. But I just, I don't know, I just wanted to like come sit over here and like be like one day, like I'm gonna be up on this stage because I believe I'm gonna be up on this stage and it's gonna be great. And yeah, so I'm just having like a really cute nostalgic future nostalgic because I'm not an author yet, but you know what I mean. But yeah, so that's what that is. So one day, guys, I will be up on that stage. It's going to happen. Thanks, guys, for watching my day two recap of the Los Angeles Times Festival of Books. It was incredible. I got to meet amazing authors that I just love. I, I got to do everything that I wanted. It was amazing. I, I, there's, I can't say how many times how amazing it was. Thanks to Los Angeles Times and the Festival of Books for putting on, yeah, another great event. And um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to hit subscribe. Check out the pictures at the end of this video. And I will see you guys soon. Bye. <laughs>
Just stay.